welcome to Trivia Night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But it's also a night that has the mantra, live, laugh, love, die. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. What else? Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting key information that would help you stay alive. Oh well, let's just start. Okay now, first question. Here's a deep philosophical question. What's the point of Candyland? And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Prepare for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. There are eight chalices. Half of them are poisoned. Pick a chalice to drink from. Good to the last drop. If you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. Let's face it, you would have drank poison at some point in your life anyway. Poison is a rough way to go. And now, the scoreboard. Wait, that's supposed to be a scareboard. Dang it. I messed up the joke. Just forget it. It's a scoreboard, okay? It's a scoreboard. I've got more questions for you. Which of these is not a command in the original Bobbit game? Who said this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let me ask you a question. So put a little thought into this. It's important. What's the ideal height for a man? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no thank you. The votes are in. Even freedom of speech is like, this should have been banned. No! This is the scoreboard again. I have thought about having a different scoreboard for each question, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices along the way in game development. Alright, next question. OMG, sometimes I feel so old, you guys. High School Musical came out in what year?
And the correct answer is... This one? The rest of you who are still alive, I want to show you something. I want to see your artistic side. I want to see some masterpieces from you piggies. Too cute. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. Pick the drawing that makes you kind of angry. The votes are in. Did you draw this ugly thing? I think I'm going to bury that terrible drawing with you. Let's try this again. Which sport has a tea break? <laughs> Who said this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Very good. Let's try another one. British comedian Steve Coogan has been portraying which character for decades? <laughs> Who picked this one? Let's go someplace fun. It's time for a memory game. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's put these away. Sorry to do this in the middle of a minigame, but I need to do my relaxation exercises. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ah, yes. That's good. That helps center me. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. Hey, remember this? How did you do? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Here's another one. Who said I think, therefore I am? And the correct answer is... This one. Prepare for your punishment. Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I especially love adverbs, but that's just me. But the person with the shortest word will be punished. Start poking those letters with your fingers. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. See what you could come up with. Is this what the kids would call an epic spelling fail? Hashtag epic spelling fail. LOL. Am I right? Totes. Life is pain. I'm 
having so much fun right now. I'm gonna have to journal about this later. All right, next question. Look, we all need our boundaries. What mountain range separates France from Spain? said this let's go someplace fun I want to play a dice game I'll go first seven now I need a little help from a safe player how about you in order to live should they roll higher or lower you can make it as well, well, well. Making it easy, I see. Okay. Roll higher than me or you die. Well, well, well. Live to die another day. Don't forget gambling is wrong, though. Next question. Which volcano violently erupted in 1883? This. Lame. Let's try another one. Which of the following movies is about cannibalism? <laughs> Who picked this one? Surprise for you. Good news! It's fighting time! You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you can grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Hey, it's fight o'clock somewhere. I bet you feel dumb for defending when no one even cared enough to attack you. And if you don't feel dumb now, this should help. You can check out a full breakdown of my tiebreaker rules over on my website. Also, my charcoal sketches. They're, uh, pretty terrifying. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. It wasn't easy making it here alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Stink cuts. Step on each answer that fits. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. You got a ghost breathing down your neck. Spooky! 
stay out of the shadows. Fly numbers. Downstairs.